another day, another review with Carly's.my. Today we have two premium executive Japanese sedans. And why they are here though? Because both of these cars come in 2.5 geysers. This is the Toyota Camry 2.5V and this is the Mazda 6 Skyactiv 2.5G. Right? So we felt it was best to have them both in a review and in order to help me my kappa kawan ah there come Hi. don't be shy hi guys ah. arvin here yes arvin and the today beautiful we have the beast the even more beautiful kodo design beast so which one trumps which one comes out better with regard to driving dynamics with regard to comfort performance, performance space uh continue lah watch watch just watch before you watch press like subscribe and also comment okay then you continue watching the mazda 6 interior beautiful look at this lapa yeah. huh? completely new interior yeah it's like it's so well put together. yeah i mean for really for an executive sedan this is a very well put together car you know and everything is in its right place which again is something that i always uh, harp on about but i like knowing where things are going to be when i'm in a car la. you know mm -hmm. and the mazda 6 definitely has everything in its right place for you you know it's uh this is a good one, yeah i love this chrome line uh, that they put around the yeah the very nice the back also yeah yeah the it back. accentuate the accents all the way to the back it's very nice uh comfortable easy drive as well how's the uh, road noise Noise. I mean, you can hear it for yourself. So at the moment, we uh, are quite, quite a patchy. Yes, and correct. A and yeah, so and but we don't find any noise permitting into the cabin. You know, I don't hear much noise. Of course, I am going a bit slow. Let's see if we can pick up the speed a little bit and see if we have any noise entering the cabin. I don't think you're going to get that much noise. To be fair, uh, again, this surface is not your typical uh, road surface. But even then, it's. We are going at about 50 kilometers per hour now. It's, yeah, it's not. It's uh, you know, it won't get in the way of your conversation. Eh? No, it will not. And even if you have a kid in the back, I mean, I've got a car seat in the back. I'm pretty sure my kid can comfortably just you know fall asleep, doze off, and there won't be any issues. You know, it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna be uncomfortable for him or her. So entertainment-wise, you've got your radio. Uh, you also have the other options, uh, Bluetooth, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. This is the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is new. For yes. This, for this model. So that's there. Yeah, so that's new for for the 2019 onwards uh, Mazda 6, and very easy to use. Uh, spend about half an hour in the car, go through all the options, and you'll find it. Re it's really easy. Bluetooth connectivity is really easy. Go back. You see. I mean, I, I took think about. That needs to be easy. Like, yes. Exactly. Phone, you know, so exactly here you have a whole host of uh, options that you can go through your display your safety what do you want to keep on what do you don't want to mm -hmm. keep on you know and this also lists out all the safety options uh, available in the master 6 you've got your smart city brake support blind spot lane keep assist speed limit driver attention alert parking sensor 360 degree view mirror uh, monitor sorry so you know is there any uh, physical buttons to turn off the Yes, there is. You can turn them on and off on the uh, through the the stocks here, I believe, as well as the uh, yeah, okay. steering wheel. Oh, that is, yeah, oh, that's the high stop. Yes, that's the high stop. Yep, oh, correct. Okay. So yeah, you know everything is here. It's uh, intuitive, user friendly, and I definitely think it's it's a cabin. So I've I've been in this car for a couple of days now and it's a cabin that is really easy for you to feel at home in it's also a very premium cabin i have to say it's a beauty to drive it is the the g vector gvc plus which is the g vector cornering plus which is again an upgrade on this particular model uh it's just beautiful the car just sticks through the corners it's it's one of those cars that you know you you wouldn't mind growing old with you know it's got a face that you wouldn't mind waking up to or driving for the next uh, what 10 years you know it's an ageless yeah no, like is it, i think 10 years from now this car will still look good yeah it'll yeah. still look relevant to the to the automotive scene it wouldn't look out of place yeah you know and the i think that's the drawback uh, generally yeah um, you know 
Mazda ten, Mazda tend to be a bit smaller at the back compared to the Honda and Toyota of you know whichever category. But sure, uh, yeah. I mean with that said, like like you're right in the sense the the supports for your bum are, are long yeah. and yeah. You know, so it, it'll really give you support on your on your your thighs and whatnot. So, Correct. Uh, you know sometimes when they make the the lower half of the seat uh, longer. It, it, tends to look like there's less, less leg room, correct. but there's actually a lot of reflective leg room because you know it, uh, it's still going to support you very well. Yep, so and if you use it, visually. and if you use it as a family uh, mover or a people mover, right? I mean to move your family around, sorry, you'll find that it's got more than enough space to have, a, I've got a baby seat in the back and it'll still comfortably sit another adult there without yeah. any complaints, you know. I'm sitting in the rear seat now of the Mazda 6 and like we mentioned earlier, you see, so if you look at this leg space, I'm about uh, 175 centimeters tall. I've got more than enough leg space, lah. You know. And this is still in your. This default. is my original default position that I was in earlier. I've got the baby seat here for my kid. We've got cubby holes here as well to keep all your knickknacks. You know, I've got my bottle holder here, very easy to reach, and it's a comfortable cabin to be in. You know, the seats are comfy. I can imagine doing a road trip in this without any issues. So the boot space, we've got 480 litres in the Mazda 6 which is more than enough for you and your family. So we've got two hand carries here, we've got a tripod back here and you can still see how deep the space is remaining. Yeah, you could, you know. So you've got a lot of space here for you to put easily two big luggage bags and also your daily hand carries yeah. and you know you're you're set for a for a road trip of four or five days with you and your family yeah so the only thing i mean it's long yep it's wide they, yep. they, they, they give you some space here the yep. side in case you got exactly yeah uh, the i like this part here particularly because if you're sliding things in then it'll be a bit more easier you're not gonna you know spoil the uh, hard wearing plastic exactly hard wearing plastic yeah exactly. it is probably a bit uh high if you've got a if you've got a big luggage bag to, to put it in but not too much uh, work i think just to you know slot all your bags in properly space wise the aperture is okay i mean i suppose if you have yeah. the biggest luggage it's still going in yeah so yeah definitely more than enough space 480 liters of usable practical space in the mazda 6 sedan so we're going to check out the camera please. yes definitely what okay. space do they have i don't know we'll find out okay for now we are in the Toyota Camry 2.5 V there is uh, only one variant uh, on sale of the new Camry the quintessential Japanese D-segment car which has been around for I don't know, almost three decades maybe quintessential uh, and I believe the other word they also use to describe it is uncle la. I mean that's what I've been told la. okay yes I, I wouldn't disagree with you on previous uh, generations they okay. Uh, have always been known to play it safe and uh, you know just just styling is very conservative and uh, you know it's not something you know I always feel like owning a Camry is um, it's a safe option it's a safe option yes yeah. and and you never complain about it but neither would you be too excited about it on a daily basis exactly you especially know, it, when Malaysians are so preoccupied about resale value then I suppose this the is the, this is probably the exactly. best thing you can have. I mean, exactly. this and probably the Accord. Yeah. This, however, uh, I, I think is the uh, I think the most beautiful, the most imaginative Camry they've ever come up with. You know, it's it's um, uh, from a styling wise. I personally, I think. Uh, I mean, the, the Mazda is a gorgeous car, and in, like it, it, it'll never age. Uh, I, I you know. to, to be fair though, I mean, with with the Mazda uh, six, the Sky Active two point five uh, G, uh, it, I find it having spent a few days with the car, obviously, mm -hmm. I find it hard to name a better looking car. You just mm. park the car and look at the car. I'm hard pressed to name a better looking premium uh, segment sedan. I'm, I'm not saying the the Camry is uh, is is a bad mm. looking car. In fact, mm -hmm. like like you said, I agree that this iteration is probably the best looking Camry to date. Banner. It's like Nothing they they gave through. their designers an empty piece of paper and said, "Go bananas." Yeah, yeah. You know, 
and and they've come up with this from the front face that you know has almost that that, that mean look that big grill staring back mm-hmm, at you mm-hmm. right so i mean like it 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 has that uh it, it has presence. Presence, yes. exactly. The cabin feels solid as well. Yeah, to be fair, the, the, interior, know? the interior yeah. is also imaginative. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's 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 uh, beauty in the, is in the eye of the beholder. But I, I, it's quiet. It's well trimmed. I like more the, the materials are nice and you know yeah, they feel it, tactile. It does. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it um, does. I'm not a big fan of this uh, of this full wood uh, feel, yeah. but. You know, I mean, I suppose that would be nitpicking, really. My 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 question is, I wonder what they were going for. That, that that's yeah. the only thing. I I yeah. don't I don't blame the execution. I I like that there is texture to it. I mean, it it, it pretty it's pretty understandable that it is plastic. But yeah, I I, I want to know what they were going for. What were they, they were trying to go for, for a yeah. foxwood finish, exactly. or was it uh, exactly. you know something more you know uh, futuristic or something like that? So yeah. I mean, I'm I'm I think, willing. I think sometimes with manufacturers, they need to realize that less is more. If you look at the infotainment system, it's a you know it looks it's a bit big, busy. No? It's yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's an eight-inch uh, screen, so yeah. uh, reverse camera. Everything seems uh, uh, it's it's nice and clear. The uh, the graphics are easy to understand. It is easy to to get used to. I suppose after uh, spending a few hours in the car, then you, it sort of becomes second nature. It's, yeah, it's, I, th- I think it, for a lot of the modern cars that we we've, we've had the privilege of of reviewing. Say, bar a few, I think, especially the ones that that manage to marry uh, electronics as well as the the manual controls that we're sort of familiar with. Mm-hmm. Spending two hours in the car at max, max, you you sort of get used to to all the controls in the yeah. car and where yeah. each thing sits. I prefer this. I mean, I prefer that there is a thing. You know, there's a button for menu, yeah, there's a yeah, button yeah, for yeah, audio, exactly. your map, your yep. you know. So I totally agree. Yes, it's easy to access. You, it's something that you can do while you're on the uh, yeah. while you're driving. Yeah, you're not constantly fiddling with the with the knob yeah. or the button to, in order to find something. Yeah, with with the Mazda, uh, while it is a rotary knob, right? What mm. makes it intuitive is that after using it for a couple of days now, I find that I don't need to look at the knob to know what I'm doing. It becomes yes. second nature, you see. Yes. So I know that okay, the middle button is home. I press the home button. I then toggle between what options that I want, right? And even then, I think they have about five or six options. Mm-hmm. You are, you almost know with each click where you're at, you see. Mm-hmm. So it becomes a very intuitive uh, uh, user interface in that sense. I love the quietness. As you can see, we 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 are now cruising around on a, on a decent road. Yeah. For 50 km, hardly anything. We can have a conversation easily. Yeah. Uh, True. The sound system, the JBL, I think. It's it's accomplished, but uh, I would maybe just give that to, little bit to the Mazda. The other thing, which is the biggest highlight of the new Camry, besides that the, the beautiful new design and and the interior and everything, is the new platform that the car. Uh, the TNGA, like, TNGA platform, uh, yes. TNGA platform. So yes. you got you got double wishbone uh, suspension at the back. Now up to a, maybe a few years back. Right. That's only something you probably see Reserved on a for the high really end, high-end yeah. car, like a, a, you know, a Bentley or a, or a, you know, I think even the Seven Series also. Yeah, no, I you know I, I've not really pushed it uh, as far as I would like to, but uh, I, I the, the beauty of the TNGA is its adjustability. Yeah. When I, I've driven other cars, uh, namely the CHR. You know, really hard on and, uh, and like up a, a twisty road, and and you just admire the adjustability. It's so comfortable when you when you're driving around on a bumpy road or your normal street, but when you really push in the corner and you feel those those uh, when you feel the, the the body tighten up or you know yeah, into yeah, a yeah. into a corner yeah. as it sits. It has that adjustability to go a little bit more, and you know, still, ke- you know, keep your line, and you know, yeah. that body control is amazing. So I, 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 I it, it's, it's leaps and bounds better once the NGA comes into into the picture. It turns, yep. it, it basically transforms every Toyota. So the other thing I realized about <coughs> driving the Camry is the adjustability of the setup itself. So. In the CHR, it can be a bit more fun. It's right, you know, it's right. a bit more uh, nimble, uh, nimble, dynamic. Yep. Of course, the car is a, it's an entirely different car. But of course, 
in implementing it for the Camry, they've actually made it very pliant. Pliant, yeah. you know, it's <laughs> like this magic carpet, right? And I was like, right. wow, I mean, they can. Another was uncle, lah. Nine out of ten times, you're not going to complain. I, I, I mean. It, it, it's true though. This car just wants to waft along. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like it wants to go yeah. fast and all that. Right. Uh, with that said, yeah, yeah. I mean, the engine has uh, plenty of power. But, it's just yeah. slightly down on uh, versus on the, the Mazda, Mazda 6, yeah. uh, But it is. Uh, it's got nice low end torque. Um, you know, the, if anything, the gearbox is a bit lazy because it's more tuned to just you know, it just wants to cruise along. Amble along. Yeah. yeah. So I, but. In terms of, uh, it's got it's got enough ground. That's where the Mazda does better compared to the Camry, because the Mazda is this is this amalgamation of an angel and a devil. Yeah. In 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 that sense, because it can be the complete perfect amble along vehicle. It get you from point A to point B safe. <laughs> it, it takes a. It doesn't want to shift. Away. Yes. <laughs> It takes you from point A to point B safely. It does your market runs, your pasar malam, pasar pagi runs, all of that, not a problem. But then, when you're set in that car and you're dialed in, and forget about, I'm, I mean, I'm not even talking about going into sport mode yet. Just in regular mode, you floor that pedal, you hear that exhaust note, and the car just takes off like a bat out of hell. And I, I think what surprised me the most was that. I'm taking corners at speeds that I shouldn't be able to take them in. That's something you would expect from a hot hatch or something. Yes. You know what? I think for for both these cars, there's more than enough grunt and horsepower for a family to get anywhere they want to get comfortably. Correct. We cannot complain. I mean, taking off from the traffic light, from toll boots, uh, from a stop uh, sign. There's no reason why you would have to complain about taking off, and then once you reach the cruising speeds, it's more than happy to cruise mm -hmm. at 110, even higher than that without any complaints. So you're going up a hill, and it's still holding fourth gear. Yeah, it's <laughs> it just doesn't want to. My, yeah. my my foot's already about 50 percent of throttle. See, we're going over a hump. It's still holding for Yeah, it, it just doesn't, doesn't want to shift, yeah. and this is already sports mode. It's yeah. just. You know, it's it's so uh, sort of angled towards being a you know a nice little cruiser. Yeah, See, it's still really fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly, it's, it's an excellent effort. I love this car. I absolutely adore it. I love the way it looks. I love the way it drives. I love the quietness. I love the cabin. Uh, the Foxwood. Okay, the only gripe I have that I really was like, what was the rear sunshade? Uh huh. Needs to be activated through the through the sub menu and the in the oh, instrument okay. class. I mean that that's. Uh, I'm like, why do it? Because yeah, you had exactly. so many buttons here. Yeah. Put one just yeah, on exactly. the. You know, it's like I don't get that. Yeah. You know, it's like you want to be the most user friendly thing to. Yeah, be so you go to scroll through your sub menu, exactly. go for the uh, the body functions, and then you select. Uh, this I was like, why? You know, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, it's also a newer car, so you yeah. know, I can understand why they you know it, it gets that bump. So, uh, but yeah, I, I think we can summarize that is like if you want an all-rounder space. I mean, everything you know and love about the Camry is well and truly present. Uh, if you want, and the, if the, you want everything that the Camry has, but plus the driving dynamics and that extra grunt. And that weekend car, then it has to be the Mazda 6. Yeah, that would. So, buddy, we are in the Toyota Camry now. Yeah, I'm sitting in the back seat. I'm in my default position, comfortable. There is a lot of leg space here, definitely. I mean, there's, there's no complaints that I can make, definitely. I mean, I've got, got easily a reach here, like yeah. a hand's reach of leg space between my knee and the back of your seat. I think uh, I think it's a bit more spacious than the Mazda 6 actually. Yeah, I think it's a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, like your car, we have a yeah, we've got a baby seat. seat. Yeah, car, exactly. So, so yeah, no, it's it's definitely comfortable. It's it'll be comfortable enough for a long road trip. Uh, even if you're going up to Penang up north, uh, up north, no complaints. You've got your rear aircon vents for your rear passengers. You've got your chargers here as well, USB chargers. So yeah. Ready? Yes. This is where I think the Camry takes the cake. 
what cake suji cake ah suji cake ah look at that oh. now i i get what you're saying the the masa is very long uh huh it's, it's uh, i mean i i generally can't reach the long the, is good yeah oh yo i think true to form whatever was said about the master 6 makes it the best choice in this segment lah okay i mean yeah it's drives beautifully it's uh, it's it's the driver's car but this is the one that does everything you know what's the difference or not this is the driver's car this is the driver's uncle's car that's uh, the differentiating uh, was, factor what <laughs> might have been an uncle's car before it no longer is this is This is beautiful. I mean like how imaginative have Toyota been with doing this? I think this is the most gorgeous gorgeous uh, Camry, most dynamic Camry. It's all you actually have to look at. I'm blocking him off. But the most important question, what does it cost? The Mazda 6 retails for just about 212,000. I believe the Camry it's goes just under 200,000. Okay. So, so, you know, both are almost in the same price category and at the day I think like most things in life is what you want in a car, lah, right? If you want a car that is both an angel and a devil, the Mazda 6 is the car. It'll take you, your wife and your kids to school to the market and then when you're feeling a bit itchy in your feet, right? Put the car in sport mode, ah. Huh? Oh. It will take you wherever you want to go lah. It that would like But yeah, if, if you're also growing older like Arvin and me, we've got kids and now and all that. Space, you need boot you need space. Quiet interior, you need a ply and ride. Yes. Then you PNG, have PNG maybe. PNG, PNG. Yes. Until the next review, this is Ferdy and Arvin from Kali Sotmai. Terima kasih.